Water and People is a dynamic new high school course presented by the Connecticut section of the American Waterworks Association in Portland High School. The course introduces seniors to possible careers within the water industry while partnering with water industry professionals and their community. The Connecticut section has been on the cutting edge of recognizing the looming shortage of qualified people to fill the void in the aging workforce. It is estimated that 40 to 50 percent of United States water operators will retire by 2015. Water and People introduces students to complex issues facing the water industry and green initiatives while giving a glimpse of career opportunities within a vitally important field. Students are given the opportunity to take the state exam and become a certified water operator. The Water and People course is now beginning its third year. To date, the program has certified 11 operators. In the summer of 2010, the Water and People curriculum was road tested in Bridgeport, Connecticut. 18 students attended a week-long water boot camp. The water boot camp was a partnership between the Connecticut section of the American Waterworks Association, local water provider Aquarion Water Company, and the Environmental Protection Agency. I think it's a great experience. Helped me learn a lot that I didn't know before and having fun with it. I like learning about all the different careers that they have in the water industry because you never really think that there's so many of them. And then I also like visiting the different plants and seeing the eastern lake. It's really pretty. It's really interesting. It has a lot of science involved, and I like science. And um, all the chemicals and the bacteria and the germs and viruses that are in the water. I didn't think there were that many, so it really like um, opens your eyes and makes you be more cautious of what waters you're going to swim in next in the summer. I like about the boot camp that we get to learn so much new things and I learn the process that it takes to get us clean water every day and all, all the jobs and I heard that they have lawyer, they need lawyers too and I want to be a lawyer. You would recommend to uh, your fellow students to look into? Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's a great program and we learn a lot. We want to show them what a great place Aquarion Water Company is to work and what a great career opportunity it is to work in the water industry. You and I have been in the industry a long time, and we both led the Connecticut section of AWWA, and when this project came up, uh, I jumped on it and I said, uh, I know that the uh, students in our area would love to come and see this, and so we made it happen. The students are fantastic. I, I just love working with all the students. Uh, seeing how uh, excited they are and how eager they are to learn and having fun together and uh, I've just really enjoyed the experience totally. Now this next young man is the first student that I met that Monday morning on July 12th and uh, <clears throat> I asked the, the students to uh, get to Lindley, our Lindley Street office somewhere between 8 and 8.15 and this guy was there at 7.30. And he didn't walk, he ran over. He jogged. Epi Torres. Yeah. How about Eric Smith? <laughs> I had the best day of my life here. Just listening to the students and what they've learned and how excited they are about environmental protection is just a wonderful thing. And all of the partners here helping out, um, it's just, it's terrific. It's what the future is all about. Nick, this, this lady here, she's, she's big time. She came all the way down to see you guys, you know? So yeah, I'm uh, grateful. Yeah, you have, did you have a good time? Yes, definitely. definitely. Okay, excellent. Now, I think, uh, you know, what we've done here is, uh, you know, thanks to EPA and the funding that they gave us and so forth, we were able to give this experience to all of you guys. So we hope you enjoyed it. Very enjoyable. Really so, anyway. And Nick is going to promise to work for EPA. Okay. So he's going to take over my job when I retire. Y you're on so task. So we have 10 years. Okay. And wait a minute. I think we have Nick's mom over here. Every day I would say to him, Nick, what happened? And he'll fill me in day one, day two, day three of everything that he did and um, he's very excited. Oh, that's good. He is, because he's like, Mom, I didn't know they have all those positions. You can be a scientist, you can be an engineer, you can be um, an accountant, and uh, 
and you can make it to the top there too. I'm like, that's the way to go. I learned some things from Aquarion um, that I want to incorporate in the program, and I learned a lot from the kids too in terms of how they relate to what they learned in school to something new. At this point, uh, it's just nice to be doing something that helps the community and also helps the environment. You know, it's a win-win situation there. The kids get something out of it and hopefully the environment's the big one. Hey, my name is Deborah Brown. I'm a special assistant to the Director of Equal Employment Opportunity for the Environmental Protection Agency Region 1. My office funded this program through a grant that's part of an environmental justice showcase pilot that originated out of Bridgeport. And one of the elements of the uh, pilot was jobs creation, green economy, and really just sort of getting young people to think about environmental protection and how it affects them. Based on the conversation that I had with the young people, this may be a life-changing event that, you know, they can do whatever they want to do. And there was a peer support here that I'm not sure you get during the regular course of a year. We've been doing a lot of work over the past couple of years in Bridgeport. Um, and saw this as an awesome opportunity um, since Bridgeport was selected as an environmental justice showcase area um, to give this youth from that area an opportunity uh, to see the various career opportunities that's available to them. Um, we don't want them to be discouraged by, you know, our down economic times and the challenges of climate change, but to recognize that they can be a part of, uh, you know, the solution. Um, and that there's a career path for them, and that they're special, um, and that they have people out here who are concerned about them and want them to be successful in anything they do. So um, I thought it was a great day. Um, there was 18 youth from Bridgeport, um, from the Bridgeport schools, um, Harding High School Central, um, and they were fantastic. They were excited college-bound, um, and we're just really proud of them. We see this as a uh, potentially a national model. Um, and myself and colleagues, Deborah Brown and uh, Jane Downing, um, we'll be talking when we get back to EPA about you know who can we um, connect with within the uh, headquarters office um, and share with them the successes from this program and see if we can get them to support it you know, as a national model. Yeah.